Well, we're joined now by Karen Matthews' former friends and neighbours, uh, Julie Bushby and Natalie Murray. So welcome to both of you. Welcome. When, uh, when this documentary was first mentioned to you, how did you feel? I was unsure, I don't know about you. Yeah, a bit unsure. Um, but I thought it was a good idea um, to get the community's version of it after all the reconstructions and everything that was done in the past. It was about time we told our story. So what convinced you that it was the right thing to do? They brought me um, all the previous work that they'd done, you know, the un inappropriate adult, un inappropriate adult that's or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and all other stuff that they'd done, and I watched them first, mm. just to give me and you'd a felt bit of background. You as felt what comfortable once you'd seen it. Yeah. Um, Natalie, you were, you were actually you were her neighbour and, and close friend, um, and she actually moved into your house while all the searches were being conducted in her, in yeah. her own property. Um, having said that, you were suspicious very early on, weren't you? Yeah. Why? What was it? Um, it started when she did the very first interview outside a house. Um, I was there when the family liaison officers told her not to do that interview, um, not to speak to the press until they'd got as much information as they could and that they'd deal with the si that side of the press. Um, due to previous cases, when a child's gone missing, it could put the child's life at risk. Um, and then Karen did the interview. And to me as a mum, it was, why would you do that? You've just being told it yeah. could put your child's life at risk, why would you then go do that? Did you interview? ask her? Did you say why you're doing it? I went straight down and asked her, and um, she says everybody told me to do it. Mm. Right. And so were you alone in that opinion, uh, alone in your suspicions? Yes. And how did that make you feel? Um, angry, um, that nobody had listened to me, um, nobody saw what I was seeing um, about a behaviour and things like that. Um, Obviously, I did express it at some point to Julie, yeah. um, but obviously we were obviously opposed on yeah, our opinion. Well, you should be ahead of the campaign, didn't so. you? you? You were the one that you were... Uh, it wasn't that. Organized. I mean, at the beginning, when Natalie had her suspicions, it was all about finding Shannon. We, didn't, we weren't bothered about what went on up at Karen's house. Ours were down at the community house, and that's all we were bothered about, were finding Shannon. We weren't bothered about what Karen were doing on her half. We were the community doing our bit. Mm. You, you went to see her, didn't you, when yeah. she was in prison? You were the only person... for four years. Once a month for four years. And you were the only person to do that. Why, why was that? I wanted answers. And did you, get, did you get answers? No. What was it you wanted answers to? I just wanted the truth. Uh, when, when the, of why she, why she would have done it? Or? Well, no, it's not just that. She kept saying that other people, you know, other people were involved. I wanted the truth. I wanted to know who, mm. why, what. And, no. She never told you. And obviously when she came out of prison... I got uh, bad from seeing her. ..the terms of her being released early was the fact that she had absolutely no yeah. contact with, with anybody. Yeah. How did you feel as a community when the truth finally unfolded? I think it were mixed emotions, weren't it? It were, like, yeah. relief, anger, anger. There was a lot of relief and then came the anger, um, the feelings of betrayal... Yeah. ..and they'd put their lives on hold so long, going out and looking for a child and everything like that, and then they found out they'd been betrayed by one of their own. And how did the community feel, as we saw then, all very close? How do they feel now that this documentary has been made? This no one's really been, been said on the state. No one's really been said about it. Nothing's been said. No, they're just fed up of it flashing up on Facebook. Yeah. Right, OK. Well, so would they rather that they, this programme wasn't... I don't been... think anybody's bothered anymore. OK. Apart from Does... her family. And I think that her family have had some fairly strong words. They said they they use the word disgraced and hurt that it's been made. Well, that's their choice at the end of the day. They weren't saying that eight years ago when they were making their money out of papers, were they? Mm. OK, fair and, enough. Um, and as far as your lives are concerned, it must be pretty strange to see other people acting <laughs> out your lives and <laughs> saying your words. Because uh, because you, um, Julie, you've got Sheridan Smith who's playing playing you, and she got quite close to you, didn't she? Yeah, we're still mates now. Are you? Mm. And so what was what was that like? That meeting? What did she ask of you? She didn't really ask out of me. Um, she just spent time with me, and every time I spoke, she was repeating it, but trying to do it in my accent. <laughs> I really, I really, and you, and both of it. I mean, and you, you've got Sean Brooke who's playing you as yeah. well, and you spent an awful lot of time together. Spooky almost to see her saying the words that came out of your mouth at that time, then oh. being there on, on screen. Watching it, watching it, um, it was really strange, because obviously, to, having part in the script, um, they'd done it, obviously, from a southerners, 
yeah. accent. And I had to pull him up on so many things, saying, well, I wouldn't say it like that. Yeah. Um, and actually hearing it, hearing us speak back and actually say how we said it, it was like, OK, that sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> and that really sounds strange um, and everything like that. But she's thingy, they all did an amazing job. Yeah, I mean, they? Sheridan playing Julie, that was scary. Really? How accurate she's got Julie is scary. And also, um, Cara Matthews is played by Gemma Whelan. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and you say that there were moments where, when she walked out of the house whilst you were filming, you thought, oh, my God, it's, really, it's, it's her. Yeah, you got we were, we were on set and she I mean, walked. that is extraordinary. Yeah. That is extraordinary, isn't it? She does. She looks like her. Well, I mean, when you watch parts at um, the, the, the programme, you th like there's the part in the police station and you think, God, is that the real footage? And it's not, it's Gemma. Yeah. 